I am helping with a recently funded NPRB project to look at the dynamics of flight feather molt in stellar ziders. The reason why we're studying flight feather molt is it's a really critical period in the annual cycle of a bird. They, uh, waterfowl in particular, will drop all of their flight feathers at once. They'll be completely flightless and they're more susceptible to predation. It's a really energetically demanding time period. 117.82. 117.82, okay. So then just look at the, just look at the shaft. What we are specifically looking at here is we're, we're measuring the ninth primary on a weekly basis to get information on growth rates. Uh, we're getting information on drop dates of particular feathers so we can get an, an idea of how much lag time. So when a feather is dropped, how much time, is it a couple days before this next feather grows in? Um, and then we get an idea of uh, does the growth rate change over the entire molt period. This is a ninth primary flight feather of a stellar zyder that was just dropped. And you can see that it's pretty worn, so they keep these feathers for a year until they're regrown. Earlier in the spring, we marked a subset of our birds with the unique individual color code. So feathers are inert, so it doesn't harm the bird or the feather. We're able to get a really good idea of its growth rate in relation to the date that it was dropped. And that really provides a lot more detailed information that is currently unknown about these birds. And then all of this information can be um, applied to the wild population and information that has already been um, collected over the years in, in a field setting.